away doing a empties video today um i might just start numbering them per year so this might be 2018 one because um i just don't get through that i do try and use stuff up um so also there are going to be some real repeat offenders i mean offenders is the wrong word isn't it because i love them including this cowshed grumpy cow um which i still love still haven't found anything better same as this mane and tail conditioner which the part of the reason and i think i have two of these in here is they're just so reasonably priced if you get them in Superdrug, i think they're about four pounds and i was thinking the other day when i was doing the big shop oh god i should buy i should try a different conditioner um, i'm just going to buy a supermarket one because i think it's quite good to change your conditioner up so that your hair's getting different products on it and the cheapest conditioner was 5 99 from my supermarket and so i was a bit like oh this is cheaper you know last thing i need to spend more money on products so this i really didn't like at first this is the l'oreal studio pro boost it volume mousse um and i bought this on a whim i'm always looking for root boosting stuff because i get quite flat hair um and i really didn't like it at first i thought it didn't do anything but actually the more i used it the more i realized it did do something you've just got to really get in there and blow dry the roots well um and things that i've used since um haven't been as good including quite an expensive paul mitchell spray which does nothing now this is the rogue o'neill therapy uh equilibrium bath and shower essence which is part of a um set i got um given as a present uh to try out because i've heard great things if you're not a good sleeper um about the himalayan bath salts this was very nice smelled very nice it was kind of relaxing but didn't kind of knock me out as it is supposed to do um this now, my husband might get cross with me for doing this. This is Alpacin Double Effect Caffeine Shampoo against hair loss and dandruff. So my husband likes um, tea gel, um, which is anti-dandruff. When I was little, I used to have Focine. I used to have eczema, so I think I sometimes get an itchy scalp. And so I never liked using tea gel. It always felt like it coated my hair. But I got this because I see a lot of his hairs in the bath. And it made me panic about him losing his hair. He's got a very good head of hair, but it made me panic. And so I bought this because it is a caffeine shampoo. And I genuinely don't see his hairs in the bath anymore. So I don't know, I don't know enough about hair to know if this is fact or fiction or whatever. But I definitely don't see as many of his hairs in the bath. And when I've used this, when my scalp has felt itchy, it's had a really nice effect. It smells lovely. Tea gel doesn't smell great. This smells really nice. So I've just been rebuying this and they sell it in Superdrug. So I just go in and get this and this done. <sighs> now, Clarins, Odina Maison is kind of like a cult fragrance. And I used to, before I had kids, I used to wear this in the spring and summer and Coco Chanel in the autumn and winter. And Coco Chanel, I think, a lot of my ex-boyfriends would say it's like my signature smell but since having children i've wanted to wear something lighter so i genuinely genuinely generally wear this all the time and if i'm going out i'll wear cocoa um because i just feel like this is a bit lighter this where was this when i was doing a bloody photograph of my favorite mascaras and i thought i'd chuck this out but i hadn't this is probably my favourite mascara. This is Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. The only complaint I have about it is that um, this happened while it was still quite in use. So um, I, it's just a bit of a pain. But it has an old fashioned brush. It's really black. It just seemed to have the, for me, just the ideal between formula and brush just seemed to work really well and if I could only use one mascara for the rest of my life it would probably be this one 
think I'll put a link to my favourite mascara's post downstairs. Goodbye stretch marks. Now, I got sent this to try when I was pregnant and I tried their, they've got an oil that was lovely to use when I was pregnant. I still got, well it's hard to tell because I've had three kids so I don't know which, who, who's responsible for what. But I don't think I got that many more stretch marks um, when I was having Jack. He was definitely the smallest one so um, there wasn't that much stretching. Um, and then I used this afterwards, and I think it did help, but I'm not sure how much it helped. And I have done before and after photos, but I just haven't been brave enough to post them on the blog yet. Um, these smell really nice. So what I found with the oil was when I was pregnant and you're sensitive to smell, it smelt very citrusy and fresh, which was nice. Um, and this smelt nice afterwards and it's just nice to have something that you can rub on your tummy but it's not cheap um so you know it's hard it's a hard one to judge stretch marks isn't it oh another favorite this is origins make a difference plus cream look at that i mean i literally take as much as I can out. I'm actually going to have a look and see if Origins are one of the companies that recycles their pots before I throw this in the bin. Um, they should be. Uh, also, I would be so happy to take this into Origins and just get it refilled. Do you know what I mean? For less money, I'd happily take the time to go to Origins and have five quid off and get that refilled. Um, this is my favourite moisturiser, I always have it. I have one open upstairs and I have one in the drawer for when I run out of that. I've just never found one that I love as much um, and I've been using it for a decade. What else have we got? NYX Doll Eye uh, Waterproof Mascara. I actually just re-bought this because it is a very good, reasonably priced waterproof mascara. I didn't want to spend loads of money on it. I hate wearing waterproof mascara, but when I take the kids swimming, I, I need waterproof mascara on. And this, which is the Fresh Press Daily Booster with pure vitamin C, 10% from Clinique. Um, it's a hard one because it, with vitamin C, you're not necessarily going to see a lot. Um, this one you is the one that you push it down. Yeah, activate cap on and then use within seven days. They give you a date right here. I definitely took longer than seven days to use it um, because I was given it by someone <laughs> who'd already used it. And, um, but I'd say if, if you want a real good shot of vitamin C and it's not something you want to have regularly in your skincare, um, this is very good. I really like the fact that they've taken into account that vitamin C is not very stable. It needs to have sensible packaging. Um, this isn't going to be exposed to light and air and obviously it some air is going to go in as you press it um as you press the end some air is gonna go in as it depresses um and they've taken that into account and they've said chuck it after seven days i mean there's some stuff it's still in there and it pains me to uh chuck it i'd rather there was like an individual delivery system do you see what i mean so you'd like i don't know have I have three of these with the same lid so that you can use like two days then a gap and then two days and then a gap. Do you see what I mean? Um, but yeah, as a as a high street, does Clinique count as high street? You can get it in boots. Um, vitamin C, I mean I think this is pretty bloody reliable. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will put all the products below. And, uh, yeah, come and say hi on Instagram, uh, because that's where I am most of the time with my, um, little children having random thoughts about makeup. Me, not the children. The children don't really care about makeup. Um, except when I have a certain amount on and then they know I'm going out. Um, anyway, have great weekends and I will see you next week.